today we're going to learn how to make a cute little ocean pony. See a little ocean pony swimming through the water. Ocean ponies are commonly found in swimming pools and kitchen sinks. If you find an ocean pony swimming around in your dishwater, just scoot him along and tell him to stay on his side of the pan and try to do your dishes, you know, off to the other side to give him his proper space because that's the only way to be considerate to an ocean pony. We're going to take some 14 gauge aluminum wire. This is just the plain regular colored aluminum and I don't know how much we should take so we're just going to take a whole bunch. That should be good. About two feet. And let's start making this little guy here. Make these little ends right here. It's very tight. You gotta make a little teeny tiny pinchy, little teeny tiny curve and then you got to curve it back right away and then you got to curve it again and curve it back and then you got to grab this little part right here and just pinch just pinch it this is not working this aluminum is too heavy I'm gonna switch to some 16 gauge and try that this might even be 18. This is much better. You know what else I'm finding is keeping the spool right here is actually a lot easier than stretching out like a three piece, three foot piece that's gonna bang all kinds of stuff and you know knock everything over. Take about two feet of this non-tarnished silver start, and we'll start threading it. So this looks like a good place to start it. Start strengthening the connections right here, maybe right here. Oh, and let's get some four four millimeter beads. While we're at it, these are pearl seashell, and appropriately. And these are little tiny green jasper. Uh, they're African turquoise, but they're uh, little teeny tiny dyed green jasper. Uh, they call them African turquoise in the listing. Okay, let's give him a little eyeball.
I was gonna thread him with all kinds of little beads here, but I feel like just wrapping it was fun. And uh, maybe next time we'll put the beads in. When I get down to about an inch here, I make a little teeny tiny curly cue to finish it off. Just pinch a little bit of wire like that and then start rolling it. And you get yourself a little tiny curly, curly cue there. And then when you get to the end of it, you just fold it over just to get in somewhere and push it against something. That's cute, right? You put the teeniest, tiniest little dab of E6000 or super glue in there. And uh, just the teeniest, tiniest little dab. Now I'll hold that right there. Yep. If you do the super glue, don't get it on your fingers because it'll blue your fingers together. If you do the the E6000, you rub it off your fingers real quick because it's supposedly not good for you to inhale the fumes or like keep it on your skin more than a second. That's what they say. Who knows? Well, when you do yours, if you want to string it with some little beads, every time you wrap one little piece of wire, just slip a bead in there, a couple beads, three beads. You can make yours all kinds of little sparkly and pretty. You do little crystals, all kinds of little beads. But I enjoyed doing this. I like the little tapestry. I feel like he's simple and clean, and he looks like a little ocean pony. And that's what we was going for. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and remember to enjoy little ocean ponies when you encounter them, even if they're in your dishwater. Have a great one.